Uh, hi. Uh, I got a question. Uh, uh, some student asked me if I can do an example to explain the frequency response for an amplifier uh, using uh, the uh, network representation. Uh, so I will just do one example to cover this in this video. So let's assume that we have an amplifier and this amplifier represented by this block and it was given that the voltage gain is equal to 400 and that's the input and that's the output and it was given uh, the following the cut off frequency as we know there are two cut off frequency the low cut off frequency and the high cut off frequency let's assume that the low cut off frequency is equal to 10 hertz and the high cut off frequency is equal to 100 kilo hertz also was given that the input resistance of this amplifier is equal to um, 20 kilo ohm and the output resistant is equal to 100 ohm it's required to draw the frequency response to draw the frequency response it's important to know uh, uh, certain values of frequencies and to show you that let's just sketch the frequency response we we'll have first the horizontal axis will be the frequency and the vertical axis will be the voltage gain we'll say that the 400 that's the voltage gain of the midband and we'll assume it's fixed this midband uh, voltage gain 400 will be running from 10 times the low cut off frequency up to 0.1 the high cut off frequency so the the low cut off frequency is given to 10 hertz that will give 100 hertz and up to 0.1 time the high cut off frequency and the high cut off frequency was given 100 kilo hertz that will give 10 kilo hertz if you want to unify the unit so that will be equal to 0.1 her, uh, kilo hertz up to 10 kilo hertz that's where you will find the mid band equal to 400 so we can say that you have straight line fixed and it's equal to 400 and that's from 0.1 kilohertz we'll say that or kilohertz up to 10 kilohertz what happened at the cut off frequency itself okay let's locate the cut off frequency the cut off frequency will be equal to uh, 10 hertz You convert that to uh, kilohertz to so divide it by a thousand it will be 0 0.01 kilohertz so you have here let's say 0.1 and the other cut of frequency fh it's equal to 100 kilohertz so let's say that this is the 100 kilohertz what is the value of the voltage gain at this point let's just make a straight line here vertical one and vertical line here it should be equal to the mid band value which is equal to 400 divided by square root of 2 you can say it's equal to 0 0.707 times the mid band voltage gain 400 when we do this calculation 
that would, let me just do it here that's equal to 283 i just rounded the number so that's the value for the voltage gain at the cutoff frequency and will be decreasing passing through this point so you can complete the curve in this way so you did the uh, frequency response of this amplifier now let's say that we want to find the value of uh, voltage gain at different frequencies than this value we just did to do that simply we will divide this diagram into three regions the first one will be below point 0.1 what's point 0.1 kilohertz it's equal to 10 times the low cutoff frequencies so this is region one region two it's between 10 times the low cutoff frequency up to this point what at this point that's point 0.1 times the high cutoff frequency that's region 2. In this region, we have the voltage gain equal to the mid-band voltage gain, which can be as soon constant at the value 400. The, the third region will be above 0.1 or more than 0.1 times the high cutoff frequency. Okay, so the question now, how can we find the value of voltage gain in region one and region three because region two already we said that's fixed at 400. for region one there is an easy approximated formula it is a v met divided by square root of one plus f1 i'm sorry fl divided by f square and in this region, region 3, it's equal to the voltage gain at the mid-band divided by the square root of 1 plus F divided by the high cutoff frequency square. Example, let's just uh, uh, assume that we need to find frequencies in this region. Um, that, uh, let's want to see it, to get it at... Uh, uh, that's that's uh, 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 0.1 kilohertz, 0.01 kilohertz. Let's say that we want to find it here. Um, that's 0 0.001 at 1 hertz. So if the frequency is equal 0 0.001 kilohertz, that's less than we make. We have to make sure region one and we, region one should be less than uh, 10 times FL. It's less than 10 times. FL, so the formula we're going to use, AV, as we said, it's equal to 400 divided by 1 plus the low cutoff frequency, which is equal to, make sure, it's equal to um, uh, 0 0.01 kilohertz divided by 0 0.001 square. Let me do that in the conclusion. So half 400 divided by square root one plus That give almost 40 so that's the value of the voltage gain uh, let's find the uh, voltage gain uh, in this region in region 3 um, that's 10 kilohertz that's 100 kilohertz let's find it at uh, 1000 kilohertz okay so i'll say that uh, the frequency which is equal to 1000 kilohertz we have to make sure it's in region 3 which should be uh, higher than 10 kilohertz higher than 0.1 fh it is higher than 0.1 fh 
so the voltage gain will be equal to 400 divided by 1 plus F the frequency is equal to 1000 kilohertz divided by um, FH we have to make sure that FH is equal to 100 kilohertz let's just uh, do that we'll find that it's equal to 40 all right it doesn't mean it has to be fixed but just the ratio here that we uh, the same that's why you got the same value obviously uh, the voltage gain is lower than the mid band and every time you are moving you know far from far from the mid band it's getting less and less the same to the le uh, left hand side so that's how you do the voltage response Sometimes uh, you will be asked to find the frequency response in decibel. So how can you find the voltage gain in decibel? It's really simple. Uh, the voltage gain in decibel, it is related to the normal voltage gain that we get. The only difference is it just you find 20 times Look to the base 10 for the voltage gain. That's how you find the voltage gain in this. Let's get an uh, important value that we got on this curve. The two important value uh, are uh, the mid band and at the cutoff frequency. So we have two values, 400 and we have 283. So let's find the equivalent decibel. And then maybe somebody will ask uh, what the frequency response in this will look like. It will look similar to that, but different value. So, if you like to sketch it, well, let me just sketch for you. That's the frequency in kilohertz, and that's the voltage gain, but this time in decibel. So, again, we'll have in the, uh, in the middle, um, the mid band, but what is the value? It's not 400. So to find the decibel, we'll say A, V decibel is equal to 20. I'm finding for the mid band, loop base 10, 400. Let me equal this. So I have 20 times log 4, 400. We got 52 decibel and the unit is this so right 52 this what is the second but oh we have to be careful what is the frequency here if the same frequency used for the voltage gain curve here uh, from 10 uh, fl to 0.1 fh from 0.1 kilohertz that's kilohertz up to 10 from 0.1 up to 10 all right what is the second important value remember when we did that we multiplied by 0 0.707 or divided by square root of 2 so i will say that the voltage gain and the cutoff frequency in decibel so this value for the mid band just to remember that's for the mid band and this one we're going to calculate for the cut of frequency that will be equal to 20 log the value uh, 400 divided by square root of 2 I'll just do that 20 times log base 10 400 divided by square root of 2 that will be equal to 49 and the unit is decimal so that will be 49 decibel where it happened exactly at the cut of frequency which is uh, point, uh, zero 0.01 and 100 kilohertz so we can just if you go up this is the point you go up this is the point and then you can do the curve like that so that will be the uh, 
decibel frequency response. Of course, you can get any value using the same rule. For example, if you want to find the value of the uh, decibel voltage gain at uh, uh, F equal 0.01 or 1000 kilohertz, just to get the value 40 and you get it, I will just do one. I will show you the equation. You can do it. The voltage gain in decibel uh, for F equal to, let me take the last one, if 1000 kilohertz. That will be equal to 20 times log, and the value was equal to 40. So, 40. Now, let's do that. Uh, it will give 32. This. There is an uh, important observation in this. Uh, what is the difference between um, this value and this value between the mid band, which is equal to uh, 52 decibel, and the one at the cutoff frequency, which is equal 49? If you subtract these two values, 52 minus 49 will get equal to 3 decibel. That's why they call the cutoff frequency negative 3 decibel. Why I'm saying negative 3 decibel? Because it's decreasing. 49 is less than 52. So we call it the 3 dB point or negative 3 dB point. That means the cutoff frequency. Why? Because the decibel voltage gain decreased by 3 on the, uh, from the mid-band. Uh, sometimes you will just observe that... Uh, they do this curve using the voltage gain in decibel refer to the mid band. What, what do I mean by that? So just you will, um, uh, some they like to refer it. So, so they just they, they divide any value of the voltage gain by the voltage gain of the mid. Okay. And some they do it also percentage, but the, the common one just they divide by mid. So You'll say, what, what does it make different? It, it, it makes different that, that it gives you a characteristic of the amplifier, um, regardless the value of the mid-band, just to unify. For example, in this one, you have the mid-band is equal 400. So you divide every single value in this curve by 400. So for the mid-band, if it's 400, divide by 400. So you'll find that the mid-band, let me sketch, sketch just quick for you to tear, just show you the difference. So the mid band will have uh, will have one. The value will be equal just to one. All right, uh, because I'm using this. I'm referring everything to the mid band voltage gain. And what about this value? This value that um, at the cut off frequency, it's one over square root of two. It will be equal to 0 0.707. So you will see that's just like that this is at the cut off frequency so you can know that this is fl and if you go along this one at this cut off frequency the other one that's fh so that will be the uh, av the voltage gain referred to the mid band and um, if you want to do the decibel what about the decibel that would be interesting uh, that you have here the uh, a v over a v mid or in decibel. So you do this one if you do one, so you have 20 uh, log one and log one is equal zero, so that will be zero decibel. So when you read the zero decibel, it means one, all right? And uh, what about 0 0.707 or 20 log? Of course, all this 10, 0 0.707. So it's like using reference, you know? Let me just do 20 times log this 10, 0.707. That will give, as we expected, minus 3 dB. And this happened at the cutoff frequency. If you do the frequency 
axis here, but it's not the zero, you know, the zero decibel, that's zero decibel, all right? And that's the cut of frequency, the first one, FL, and this is the second one, FH, so I'll see just something like that, coming at this point equal to negative 33 dB. Great. All right, and by the same, uh, in the same way, you can do also the power uh, gain instead of voltage gain. So what is what is power gain? What's voltage gain? Um, the voltage gain, when you, what is the definition of it? It's the output voltage divided by the input voltage. And what is the uh, power gain? It's the output power divided by the input power. So that's the voltage gain, and that's the power gain. All right. What about the decibel? Well, the decibel voltage gain is equal to 20 log the voltage gain. What about the power, the decibel power? EV in decibel will be equal to uh, 10 log power gain all right so that will be uh, only the only difference so you can do the same thing but i just i want you pay attention to when you do the the, the curve uh like um the power against frequency the only difference that you'll observe At the mid band, you have the mid band, a P mid band, and that will be also the maximum value. And it happened at the same thing, uh, 10 times the uh, uh, low frequency up to 0.1 the high frequency. I'm talking about the cutoff frequency. And at the frequency itself, uh, FL, and um, uh, FH, that's where you're going to find the value, and the value, remember, is not 0 0.707, it's equal half, half the value of the mid-band. So, that's the difference. Half AB mid. Because it's defined that the, at the cutoff frequency, the output power will be equal half the power at the, the mid-band. So, uh, if you have here like 100, then you get uh, the cut of frequency 50. So, that's the difference between the power gain and the voltage gain. Uh, the, the voltage gain, it's uh, divided by um, square root of 2, or multiplied by 707. But for the power, the power gain is 50%. is divided by a half, or multiplied by 0.5. So, that's the difference. What about the gain? What about the gain? All right. So we, we know that voltage gain decreased by 3, we say negative 3 dB. Just I will do something here similar. Let's find now the power gain in decibel. And let, let's use the reference. If, I, if you use reference, if you divide everything by AB, so it means we 10 log 1, which should be 0. Why I'm saying one? Because I, I want to use the reference AP divided by AP mid band of the maximum value. So at the that's at the mid band. At mid band, AP is equal AP mid, so be equal one. All right. If you have at this cut off frequency at cut off frequency, so the voltage gain in decibel will be equal 10 times log 0.5. 50%, right? It's equal to 50%. Five. Let me just calculate that. I have 10 times log this 10.5. And amazingly, it's equal to negative 3 decibel. So it will be the same thing decreasing by three decibel. So that's the um, how you sketch the frequency response
for the voltage gain and the power gain. I'd like to uh, elaborate more because somebody asked me how can we use the input resistance, the output resistance, uh, because they have kind of uh, uh, difficulty for connecting what we did in uh, previous lectures when we represented amplifier by a network like that. So I'll be happy to solve a numerical example, the same one here that we did in the beginning. I'm going to take the same thing because I have the old information here. And I'm going to um, calculate the output voltage, the current, and everything. So you will be familiar with this kind of problem. So let's say that that's amplifier that we have and giving the input resistance and the output resistance. And not only that, and I'm going also to connect load and I'm going to connect source. So what are the important value that we should calculate? Before I do that, I just uh, also like to um, uh, just review with you what's inside this box or this block. Uh, it, it's, it's the normal representation of the amplifier. Uh, the input resistance 20 kilo ohm, so you can do it like that. That's Ri. That's Ri, the input resistance. And that's the uh, input uh, uh, voltage uh, VI or V input whatever it's written uh, it as VI and on the other side it can be represented as a uh, voltage source dependent voltage source and that's equal to AV times VI with the resistance of the output which is equal to the output resistance and uh, you will have here the output uh, uh, voltage that's so that's the representation for so this uh, equ equivalent circuit for the block that we have here all right and uh, if you want to insert values uh, here that's easy um, AV it's 400 uh, then uh, the question is AV it means the mid band yes it is it is a mid band so you can replace AV by 400 so if I sketch again that, just to keep it for you when you review it, um, um, if I take the same thing here, and I will just put the value of the example we're just working on. Um, so AV is equal 400, so I'll write this one as 400 times the input voltage. The input resistance was given uh, 20 kilo ohm and that's always uh, has a big value 20 kilo ohm and the output resistance is equal to 100 ohm if I uh, convert it to kilo ohm so it'll be 0.1 kilo ohm so you have uh, 0.1 kilo ohm so let's just replace this one by 0.1 kilo ohm okay um, now um, we have the system if you have the open circuit it means if you did not connect load to the output it means that the current here is equal zero so the output current is equal zero if you do uh, uh, right here i output so i output with zero in this case in this case the output voltage will be equal this source because the drop is equal zero will be equal 400 vi so at no load You have the output current equal zero and so the output voltage is equal 400 vi so if you want to find the voltage gain you say equal output voltage divided by input voltage when you divide it, you get 400 which is <laughs> that's what's given <laughs> so 400 uh, it's a mid band voltage gain at no load it's the no load voltage gain so now just to prove that well um if you want to find the, the, the current, the input current, you got to also to have supply, the source. So now let's just connect source. Um, I will just say that you have a signal and this signal, uh, let me ch uh, choose different color here. And the signal you are going to use, it's here. 
and let's say this amplitude 20 millivolt when i say 20 millivolt it means like 20 millivolt sine some kind of frequency omega t and all this in millivolt but just i write here the peak value okay and let's say that this source of the signal has a resistance called rs and also are going to assume value that's equal to 1.5 kilo ohm i'll just write it next to it rs is equal to 1.5 kilo ohm all right and let's have here load and the resistance of this load rl and let's say that rl is equal to 15 kilo ohm and that's practical because amplifier it has to have source it has to have output now uh you can find anything uh ask for using simple uh circuit analysis for example if we say what is the input voltage vi i mean this one vi what is the voltage applied to the amplifier vi to do that just you apply voltage divider rule uh, because the total voltage 20 millivolt will be applied to the whole circuit here so the input voltage vi will be only across 20 kilo ohm so simply if you want to find the value for vi you will say it's equal the vs the source of the signal times ri divided by the total resistance of the mri plus rs in this case you will have 20 millivolt times uh, 20 kilo ohm divided by 20 plus 1.5 let me just do that and i'd like to just do it in two steps I want to find the ratio here of 20 over so I'll say uh, 20 divided by uh, 21.5 that's equal to uh, 0.93 it means you are uh, that the amplifier will just get 0.93 out of the total input uh, voltage of the source so multiply that by 20 then you will get 18.6 uh, uh, millivolt so that's the input in many cases you will see in uh, many problems that they just don't mention rs what does it mean it means rs can be ignored because its value is really very small so if this one is zero and ignored in this case you are not using voltage divider rule because simply the input voltage is the same as the source and sometimes do that for simplicity which is acceptable because you see that 18.6 on 20 is not that big all right so that's one thing that you can get also maybe you will be asked to find the current the input current ii simple it's just very simple circuit there is no electronics the i the input current ii is equal vi divided by ri so uh, the input voltage is equal 18.6 millivolt divided by the input resistance and this is a characteristic of the amplifier itself and it's given equal to 20 kilo ohm remember when you divide the millivolt by kilo ohm then you, you expect you get a micro uh, let me just to do that 18.6 divided by 20 kilo ohm. so you get 0.93 micro that's a very small current for the amplifier all right so that's one thing that you can get now let's say now we want to find the output voltage v output this one what well, you can do the same thing you can use a voltage divider rule because the output voltage is applied to rl the resistance of the load so we can say it's equal the source which is equal 400 vi times rl divided by both resistance but in the beginning you can get the no load voltage 400 vi it's the no load voltage right so in any case if you like just to make it clear what's the no load voltage output it means if if you don't have uh if you don't have load resistant by the way you still can get voltage right so the no load volt output voltage 
that's equal to AV times VI. And in this case, you have VI, you got VI here equal to 18.6. So times 18.6. Don't forget that this is millivolt. So I'll just multiply 400 times 18.6. That would be equal to uh, 744. Zero millivolt. That will be the output voltage when there is no load. Obviously, obviously that uh, it, it really magnified by four hundred times because it multiplied by four hundred. Now let's see the effect of the uh, uh, resistance of the load. So I'm going to use the voltage divider rule. This no load voltage I just got. I multiply by fifteen divided by fifteen plus point one. Observe that the output resistance. Of the amplifier is small and always it's small because you don't want to lose voltage which is produced which is produced by the amplifier so i would say that the output it's equal the uh, the voltage seven four four zero millivolt and then multiply by rl so i'd like to first write the equation substitute so you, you, will, you will have something here so you have the av times vi all right, uh, that's time RL divided by RL plus R out. That's equal 7440 millivolt. And the ratio, you don't have to write the unit. Tens, yeah, all of them, they are in kilo ohm. RL is equal 15 kilo ohm. 15 kilo ohm, and I believe it's equal 1.5. No, 0.1. 0.1 so that will be equal to let me just do that 7440 times 15 divided by 15.1 it would be no effect for that so that's equal to 7 uh, 3 9 0.7 so that's almost 7 3 9 1 milli volt so uh, that that's uh, the um, um, the output voltage that we got, all right. And this is all the question. If you want to find the output current, you can do the same thing. The output current will be equal to the output voltage divided by the resistance of the load, or we can do it in a different way. You can say it's equal to uh, this no load voltage, which is uh, 400 VI divided by the total resistance. That's the same thing also, all right? It's just, it, it, it just uh, imagine you are solving a normal circuit. Uh, so the output voltage is equal to 7391 millivolt and divided by the load, which is 15 kilo ohm. Uh, when you do that, you'll get a micro amp and it'll be a big current, but just let's see what happened here. 7391 divided by 15 kilo ohm that's equal to 4 uh, 9 2.7 microam that's the output current so when you look at this problem and i solved in detail here using the all parameters given for the amplifier you observe that the voltage uh, increase uh, for example when you look at the output voltage now it's equal to uh, 7391 and uh, uh, the input was uh, the source was 20 so when you want to find the voltage gain now we have to be careful um, it, it's a good revision for who did with the transistors and FET when you want to find the voltage gain now we have different voltage gain you have voltage gain at no load that's for no load uh, you will find some textbook instead of lying, writing A V O A V N L. No, no, that's okay. So that's uh, that's usually that's uh, equal to uh, just A V. It's given the mid band uh, voltage gain, and sometimes uh, sometimes we ignore uh, or uh, not not say ignore. If R S is not given, if R S is not given, uh, and we give it equal to zero. So in this case. The input voltage is equal to the source, right? And and you let's say that you have load RL is given. So in this case, what is the uh, uh, voltage gain? Uh, 
The voltage gain as we did in this equation, that's you have here. That's the equation that you have. Let me just mark it. Just this equation, you get the output voltage when you have load. All right. That's not good. All right. And the input voltage is VI. So you divide both. You will get the formula for the voltage gain when you have load, but you don't have source. So the output divided by input. In this case, you will have AV times VI times RL divided by RL plus R output and all divided by VI. So actually you get AV times RL divided by RL plus R out. That's simple. What about if you include the resistance of the source? In this case, you will say RS not equal zero. It's there. And also you have load. So let's see what we did here. What we did here, what effect? Uh, it would affect VI itself. In this case, VI is the same as V source. But when you have source, VI, as we explain here, will it will have different value. So let me just do that. So to make it sure, I will just say A voltage when source is included. All right. So you will say V out, all right, divided by the source itself. And then you can use both equations to divide it. Or you just can get the result, the output input. That's what we did before, but just I, I just try to tell you how to use the uh, network. If you want to calculate the power, it's the same thing. You see, uh, uh, the output power. How we calculate the output power in this uh, circuit? We need to calculate the output power and the input power. The output power, it's across the load resistance here, RL. So you can say V output square divided by RL. So that's the output power, V output square divided by RL. And you have already the output voltage. The output voltage we just calculated here is equal to uh, 7391 millivolt. If you like to turn it to voltage, because it's a big value now, divided by a thousand, so you have 7.391 voltage. That's uh, it's getting bigger now. So you can say it's equal to 7.391 voltage square. Divided by RL, it's equal to 15 kilo ohm. All right. And you get it in milliwatt. If you want to find the input power, with the input power, you go here for the amplifier. Uh, the input is input voltage VI, and the resistance is RI. So you say VI squared divided by RI. So it's we'll say that equal VI squared divided by RI. And VI was calculated equal to, um, yes. 18.6 so that's you have 18.6 millivolt so times 10 negative 3 square that's volt divided by the input resistance which is equal i believe 20 kilo ohm yes 20 kilo ohm so by 20 kilo ohm and you get the value for the input all right just to refresh your memory, this is the last thing I would. So, if you want to find the, the power gain AP, you divided the output power by the input power. In this case, the output power is equal to the output voltage divided by RL and the input voltage VI squared divided by RI. And let's just uh, arrange these terms. So, you have V output squared divided by V input squared, and then RL will be in the bottom and RI comes in the top. So it can be written V output over V input uh, square times RI divided by RL. In this case, uh, V output over V input, this is the voltage gain square. And times RI divided by RL, that's the power gain. So 
that's the relationship between power gain and voltage gain in general it's equal a v squared times r i divided by r l if you want to find the decibel so what you will do you will say a p decibel is equal to 10 times log a p right that's the basic definition so uh, let's just finish it so we have 10 log a v square times r i over r l and you know when you multiply in the log you can make it you can add them so you have 10 log a v square plus 10 log r i divided by r l and because a v square this square can go and jump here in the front will be 20 times log a v plus 10 log r i divided by r l so the power gain in decibel and this is general case it's equal 20 log a v plus 10 log r i divided by r l and if r i equal r l and maybe somebody will ask what is the value when you make r l equal r i actually you don't make r i r is given r l this is the load if r l is equal to r i if you make it equal if you make all resistance are equal we call it matched impedance in this case you can get the maximum power so to get the maximum power of the amplifier you make all resistance are equal you see in this case you will have look r i over r l equal to log one which is equal to zero so when r l equal r i you get the maximum power and you get the power gain in decibel equal to 20 log a v which is the voltage gain in decibel and by doing that i'll finish this video and i will have another two videos to finish what i meant to do so next video i'm going to talk about when you make a scale to amplifier all right and then i will talk about uh, the third one will be how to do the response on similog paper it's very important for uh, circuit. till then have a good day